Hi and welcome again. I'm Bruno da Mota. And Matheus. And today we're gonna show you how to do land. What we're gonna do is we wanna take this little part out. You can use this again on anything else. Don't throw it out. You can do meatballs, you can do lamb burgers. Uh, you can even skewer it. You want to keep that fat. You still want to burn a bit of that fat in there. It's going to keep the meat moist, but also once it's cooked properly, you've got that lovely little crackling and it tastes delicious. So what we're going to do here is we want to do a little marinade. We're going to skewer it as it is. We don't want to cut it, and we're going to put it in the fire. Pour the lemon juice all over it. So you've got that. Turn it around. Make sure you get the other half of the lemon juice into the meat as well. We've got some fresh oregano leaves here, which Mateo's going to roughly chop it. And we've got some confit garlic. The reason why we use confit garlic is Garlic, after it's cooked, is a little bit sweeter and it's not as tangy. So, if you prefer the raw garlic into your marinade, you're more than welcome to use it. The confit garlic will actually help to spread on the meat. Massager, ali a So, again. You want to lightly season the inside. And now we're ready to skewer it. So I'm just going to show you how to skewer that. You fold the meat. The thickest part goes on the bottom. And you follow your way through. Now you want that half moon shape. You want to make sure it's tight and it's firm against the skewer. So it's not going to go anywhere. So we've got a beautiful skewer of lamb. I'm going to season it. I'm going to put on the fire. This skewer right here will take up to about 40 minutes cooking. Just slow and slow. So we're using rock salt on the outside. You don't want too much. Just one lightly. Again, we let it set for about 20 minutes, brush the salt off, and we'll whack it on the barbecue. Now we're gonna try our lamb rum. So, it's very important if you let every skewer to sit for about five to 10 minutes just to rest, so you can retain all those lovely juices. Not too rare, it's moist, it's pink, and the flavors are there. Chef, do you want to try this? This is our head chef here, so this is our quality control. Delicious. Just the right amount of salt in there. As I say, Brazilian barbecue doesn't have to be salty. Just perfect. How many you that? Guys, thank you very much for watching us. I hope you enjoy all the episodes. I hope you actually learn a little bit more how to do your churrasco at home or anywhere you like. So keep in tune watch our YouTube videos, or simply go to our website, www.charandco.com.au. If you're around Sydney, make sure you come and visit us. We're right here in Double Bay. Thank you so much. We'd like to thank our crew, our head chef, our barbecue chef, all the chefs here. 
Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure.